Hello and welcome to the California Drought Update for August 2024. Conditions have been exceptionally hot and dry across much of California for several weeks now. In fact, July was the hottest month on record for much of the state. In today's episode, we'll explore how these high temperatures are impacting California's reservoirs. The reservoirs are losing water fast, and it looks like they will most likely erase all of the water level gains from this past winter. We'll begin with an overview of California's largest reservoirs, followed by an examination of the new permanent water restrictions being imposed on cities and towns across the state. Finally, we'll review the current drought situation in California. There's a lot to discuss today, but before we get to it, please hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. We'll start today's reservoir update at California's largest reservoir, Lake Shasta, which is located in Shasta County in Northern California. The current water elevation is 1,025 feet. That's just above 75% of full pool capacity and 111% of, of its historical capacity. This is a chart of Lake Chasta's water level for the 2024 water year. The water level has been on the decline since the middle of May. However, since June 25th, the rate of water level decline jumped from three and a half inches per day to over eight inches per day. At this point, the water level is less than four feet above the water level at the beginning of the water year. We expect the water level to, to continue to decline for at least the next few weeks, essentially erasing all of the water gains from the 2024 water year. Now let's head 100 miles south to Butte County and California's second largest reservoir, Lake Oroville. The water elevation at Oroville is currently 851 feet or 78% of its full pool capacity. That's 117% of its historical average for this time of year. Since the beginning of July, the water level at, at Lake Oroville has been declining at an incredible rate of 1 foot 3 inches per day. The current water level is still 18 and a half feet above the water level at the start of the water year. However, with the current water level declines, the water level will drop below that point erasing all of the past year's gains within the next three weeks. Now let's head back up north to California's third largest reservoir, Trinity Lake. The current water level at Trinity Lake is 2,335 feet, or 78% of its full pool capacity. That's 111% of its historical average. Trinity is performing a little better than the other reservoirs in Northern California. The lake is losing water, but at a rate of only three inches per day. Trinity has had a remarkable recovery in the past year. In fact, the current water level is still 52 feet above the water level at the beginning of the water year. And it's very likely that Trinity Lake will be one of the only reservoirs in Northern California to record a net gain in water storage during the 2024 water year. Located 130 miles east of Oakland is California's fourth largest reservoir, the New Melones. The New Melones Reservoir is currently at an elevation of 1,045 feet. That's 80% of its capacity and 134% of its historical average for this time of year. And finally, located 60 miles southeast of San Jose is California's fifth largest reservoir, San Luis. The San Luis Reservoir, at an elevation of 439 feet, is lagging behind California's other large reservoirs at just 42% of full pool capacity. But that's still 100% of its historical average for this time of year. So let's see what we have here. Almost all of California's reservoirs have water levels that are above their historical averages. And that's a very good thing. But my concern is the rate of water level declines at California's largest reservoirs, Shasta and Oroville. Together, these two reservoirs account for almost 20% of the overall water storage capacity of all large reservoirs in California. And both of these reservoirs are losing water at an astonishing rate and are on track to erase all of last winter's water level gains. Now let's talk about these new water level restrictions. 
California is implementing its first ever permanent water restrictions on cities and towns across the state, a historic decision following two major droughts over the past decade. The State Water Resources Control Board has approved a policy requiring urban water suppliers to reduce water deliveries over the next 15 years. Some municipalities will need to cut back water use by as much as 30% by 2027. This policy only applies to water suppliers and does not apply to individual households. Water suppliers do have the flexibility to choose how to achieve these reductions, whether it's by imposing water restrictions, raising rates, or encouraging the use of low-flow appliances. Failure to meet these requirements could result in fines of up to $10,000 per day. This policy aims to prepare California for a drier future, with reductions based on factors like past water consumption, climate, and land use. By 2040, the policy is projected to save 500,000 acre-feet of water annually, enough to supply over 1 million households. Known as Making Water Conservation a California Way of Life, the policy aims to reduce statewide water use permanently, lessening the severity of restrictions that are typically implemented during these droughts. While the policy has faced criticism over the speed of required cuts and the costs, it's expected to make California's water system more resilient to drought. The initial cost estimated around $13.5 billion through 2040, but that's changed. Now the cost is estimated at somewhere around $4.5 billion, and the timeline's been extended out to 2050. Speaking of drought, let's check in on the current status of the drought situation in California. As of the current report from the U.S. Drought Monitor, exactly 21.2% of California is experiencing abnormally dry conditions. That's up from just 2.8% in our last drought update. 4.4% of the state is experiencing moderate drought conditions. These moderate drought conditions are located in Siskiyou and Maddox counties in the far north of California. The current drought situation is a slight improvement from one year ago when 25% of California was experiencing abnormally dry conditions and 6.2% of the state was experiencing moderate drought conditions. Although the drought situation currently looks pretty good for this time of year, the month of June 2024 was the 14th driest June in California since they began tracking precipitation back in 1895. Hey, that's all we have for this month's update. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of our other videos and consider subscribing. We really appreciate your support.